Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your 2021 reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for your blessings and your blocks. This is going to be uh, for all my Taurus friends here. And we're going to take a look at what you have coming for you 2021. All the good stuff, all the blocks that, you know, I'm going to give you some idea of what to look out for. Remember, we all have free will, so it's a great thing to see what can possibly be in our way uh, or that can stand in our way as we try to manifest the future that we want. Some of you have taken quite some time through your healing journey. Um, you may be dealing with the Sagittarius at this time. There may be some heartache, disappointment, something like that going on with the Sagittarius or as we are in Sagittarius energy when I am recording this. As I said, uh, to take a look at the blocks, that was Five of Pentacles, to take a look at the blocks so that you know what to get ahead of in the new year. So I'm going to pull one card each uh, for every month of 2021, and then we'll clarify as we go along because these cards will tell you a story for the entire year, month by month. And then I will pull some Oracle cards uh, for the beginning, middle, and end of the year. Again, I will clarify wherever it needs to be clarified or wherever I'm called to clarify. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, for my subscribers, thank you so much for all the love and support. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, comment, and subscribe to help me circulate this video. Um, if you would, uh, if you're new to me, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking, for stopping by. I hope this resonates with you. Even if you're not a Taurus and you stumbled across this reading, know that there is a message here for you. I don't believe in coincidences. So let's get this going. January 2021 for Taurus. This one. Okay, Six of Pentacles, February 2021. Seven of Pentacles, okay. Progression. Oh, too many. I don't even want to look at them. March 2021. I didn't want to look at them because that had like a really hard thud <laughs> to it. Um, but let's see. March 2021. Okay, so that is your card, the Hierophant. Along with the Knight of Cups, a decision in love, forward movement, but this one flew out, Ace of Wands in reverse. So some of you, um, as much as you'd like to move forward towards someone, it's just not happening at this time. Okay, and it is one, one, one. So clearly there, that is a block that you need to address if your goal or your wish is to move towards someone and it's just not happening. There could be something blocking and don't worry, we will clarify. So let's move on to April, 2021 for Taurus. Page of Pentacles. So see, you know that it's time for you to make an offer. You promise to, you know, equal give and take, put it into a relationship. I know that you have some histories. Somehow you still can't, it's like you get that false start. I feel like I've had this reading for you way too many times in the last few years, Taurus. I mean, chop, chop, get to it, right? Uh, Page of Pentacles in April. You, I think you finally get the money to move forward or whatever it is that you may need to do to move forward. However, you really need to solidify your plans and put them into action. April, May, Emperor card. I'm sorry. No, the King of Wands in May. King of Wands energy. June 2021. Hanged man. Ay, 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 Taurus. July 2021. Four of Swords. That's all right. Take a break. August, Three of Swords, why Taurus, what are you guys going through? September, Two of Swords, how is that possible? Four, three, two, I swear to God, if we get the Ace of Swords here, so crazy. Okay, so Eight of Cups, Page of Wands, walking away, moving away from a fire sign, maybe a uh, fire sign child as well. Okay, so if you didn't catch your December or your end of 2020, what you need to know reading, I will link it up here at the top somewhere. 
I need to stop trying to put my finger up at the top. It's just a weird angle with my phone since I have everything still packed up. Anyway, as I was saying, if you didn't catch your, just your end of 2020, what you need to know, I believe it did have something to do around a child. So you may finally decide to walk away from a specific situation. Okay. Um, let's see. So where are we? July, August, September, October, 2021. <laughs> Happily ever after emotional fulfillment. And there it is again, that night of cups, but it comes with some heavy conversation that needs to take place. Some stressful conversation, uncomfortable conversation with the eight and the 10 of wands that needs to take place. Okay. So November seven of cups. And December, the Justice card. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't worry. What's at the bottom of the deck? Four of Pentacles. Again, holding on to your money, not wanting to share the wealth, not wanting to uh, spend a dime or give more than you have already been giving. Uh, generally, the Four of Pentacles is about money, uh, wealth, material issues. Um, so if you've got a house, you don't want to share it with someone. You don't want to give it up in, um, you know, the divorce or whatever it may be. If somebody is asking for way too much money in alimony or child support, whether that's you or them. Uh, yeah, someone is holding on to the money. Someone may also be hiding money is what I'm hearing. Okay, so... Got a little emergency savings fund there. You've got, <coughs> excuse me, you've got some uh, tough energies throughout 2021. Let's get to the bottom of this because I want more blessings than blocks here. Okay, Taurus. So we start off the year, January 2021, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, trying to find financial balance and stability uh, within a household, especially if you are in a partnership. Uh, I feel that you've been the one that has been keeping things afloat. So if you are in a relationship, marriage, partnership, you're at that point of like, okay, listen, you got to pull your weight. Okay. I've given you enough time to come up with the extra money for us to, you know, have this equal give and take. You put your share. I put my share. Some of you here might actually be covering everything or you have been for quite some time. And I think that you did this and you gave a person, you know, listen, I'm going to give you, you know, three to six months to get it together. And then you're on your own after that. I feel that in February, they're like, you know, I can't. It's, it's just, I need you to keep helping us out. And that's what causes a false start of a new beginning. And it's like, you got to fork over some money. You want to be standing in this king of wands energy with forward movement, taking action, but you're still in that hangman energy come June. Uh, again, I feel that the overall energy for the whole year is holding onto your money, uh, maybe even hiding money, or this is somebody hiding it from you and you are trying to have a new beginning, but you need the financial footing for it, whether it's, a, um, you know, uh, in business or whether in love. So keep that in mind. We will get to the bottom of this. So I think by July, June, July is very much that needing to take a break, needing to withdraw, needing to see a situation for what it is. Uh, even if it's a hard pill to swallow, uh, you realize that you've been sitting in this energy for far too long. If it's caused some stagnancy, you almost feel like you can't uh, see right from wrong or up and down. And you don't know, you don't trust your intuition at this point as to what the right decision, what the right choice is anymore. So by October, I feel that you finally make a decision in terms of what is for the highest good of all emotional fulfillment for the children, for my partner, my spouse, my family, my job, whatever it may be. Um, that seven of cups is still causing you some confusion or clutter. But at the end of the year, I feel, listen, the two of swords to the justice, they are both, they are both blindfolded. But you do end the year with trying to balance out money, love, family. I feel that the happiness is within reach and you have some highs and lows here. But you need to stay focused on what's best for you emotionally, for the family, for the children. There is a lot of disappointment here that... 
maybe sticks around in your energy, in your household for too long that causes that stagnancy. Uh, you have two cards with blindfolds and two cards with scales. Um, as well as a hanged man where he's trying to balance himself being tied with one leg tied to this tree. But the hanged man energy, although it is not forward movement, it is a time to take a break, to get clear about what you want, what your plans are, and how you will be taking action from here on out. So let's clarify. Four of swords, three of swords, two of swords. What brings about this disappointment, this stagnancy, needing to take a break? To gain clarity what brings it money home the audacity that <laughs> i feel that somebody here is very much um i said audacity but it is very and i have the word on the tip of my tongue somebody give it to me uh the arrogance i knew it was another word that's like the tower card along with money in the bank and the arrogance that no, I will be supported or financially supported or you will be supporting me financially as long as I need you to. Again, overall energy, four of pentacles holding on to your money, your finances, um, there may be a fight over money, family money, business money, child support, alimony. I felt that energy in your end of 2020 reading, so it may still linger into the new year, which can be a considerable block for some of you, okay? And to hear that brings about this melancholy, sadness, depression, type energy okay do we want that in the new year taurus of course not hell to the no right so sorry about that taurus um <laughs> my headphones died i don't have my mic connected to the phone because i don't have the correct plug for it but uh, i had my headphones on and they died and i switched to my other set so yeah the thought of this dragging into a whole new year, you're like, can I catch a break here? Well, Taurus, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Ace of Wands in reverse. Listen, somebody doesn't want you to have a new beginning at something. Somebody doesn't want you to have a happily ever after. I feel like someone is waiting for that opportunity to come in and either disrupt your peace I also feel that somebody is keeping an eye on your finances. Just an FYI, make sure that everything is secure. I have to tell you, change your passwords, change your logins, create a new email account if you need to. That is of urgency is what I am getting, okay? Very important message there. Okay, they said we're done with that deck. Let's move on to the Kipper deck. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Belvedere card, the lookout, keeping an eye out. I, was, I feel as though somebody is keeping an eye on your finances like, oh, I thought they didn't have any money. How'd they pull off a new car? How'd they pull off a new whatever? X, Y, Z, fill in the blank. Oh, they got new furniture. Oh, they got a new girl. Oh, they got a new boy. I thought they couldn't afford to be in a relationship. And it is one, two, three. Check out those angel numbers. One, two, three. It usually means to simplify your life, make better choices, better decisions. It's so funny because Capricorn also had the one, two, three, four. Because I, you know, it's it's one twenty three in the afternoon right now on a Sunday. So, yeah, if you have Capricorn in your chart or you're dealing with a Capricorn, check that reading out. I will link it up here. So funny. Um, to all my Earth signs, if you are cross watching as well, you have the the you know, the opportunity to create something beautiful and wonderful. There's a lot of, you know, stalkerific, shady energy that tends to linger around Earth signs. So here we go. Let me have a card to clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse with that lookout card. Why? 
Yeah. You have people watching you. Who is supporting you? Who are you supporting? Who's involved? Who isn't involved? That looks like a family unit. So just know that even if they are family, even if they come across caring, concerned, I'm not trying to make you paranoid. Just be careful who you trust. I feel that uh, you may have family members that are going back and forth, relaying information. Oh, I went to go see so-and-so. I went to go check out their new house. You should see how it's decorated. Or, you know, I was at the market or at the store. And did you know that so-and-so, like, was driving a brand new car? I thought they didn't have money. You know, that type of family gossip. People need to learn how to mind their business. Not just in 2021. That's all I'm saying. Let me have another card for March. Ace of Wands in reverse. Especially regards money, occupation. These two came out in reverse. I don't generally like to take these in reverse, but I do need to, to show them to you. I think that you're someone's meal ticket. And I know I've had this conversation with you guys before. You, I believe I felt like maybe you were the one in the family that had their shit together, had their career, their business family money you've grown whatever it is and so you were viewed with high honors but somewhere down the road you got knocked off a couple pegs off that ladder or that pedestal okay so there is something going on that people are trying to control uh how you live your life you know who is in your life who is not in your life that type of thing okay so please be careful of that don't let somebody else's you know, beliefs or whatever control your decision of how you choose to live your life. If you want to live your life, you know, buying new cars, buying new homes, you know, you're happily ever after. Do you, boo? Okay, I always say that. So let's see. The justice card, let me know what that justice card is in regards to at the end of 2021 for Taurus. Oh my God. Okay, look. Main male, bad health, mature woman, and the official person. There's a few things that can be going on here. Unfortunately, someone here may be giving, may be given the official capacity to make decisions on a mother, a mother figure, a mature woman, an elderly person on what happens. And I'm specifically seeing DNR. And I feel that if you choose the DNR, do not resuscitate. Maybe you've already had this conversation with them. The family thinks that you're trying to kill them to inherit money. I just have to tell you that. Be prepared that if you are given that official capacity of power of attorney, of making um, decisions on the behalf of someone. Like I said, an older female, older relative, or maybe you are the mom and you have to make these decisions on your son, who is the main male, who is probably not married, but has a girlfriend or a baby mama, and they get hurt, they're in you know, some bad situation, bad illness in the hospital, and you have to make those decisions on behalf of your son, you are going to, you know, have a crazy fight from baby mama or a girlfriend that may be in your son's life. Just an FYI, okay? But here it is. Somebody here ends up having um, official capacity to make these life-changing decisions regards to somebody's health, mental health, well-being. I also heard because I said mental health. <sighs> Somebody here may either be forced to go into like a drug rehab program or like um, psychiatric hold, 5150, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't really know all the technical terms, but I know that there is a way where you can, um, what is it? I hear it. Like it's like a psychiatric hold. And that's how I see this bad health card. And I feel that putting you in that in that situation or putting someone in that situation almost wants almost drives them crazy. But it's a it's a serious concern here, whether on your behalf or your family's. Okay, I don't want to take those. 
but that was a warning for someone because I generally do not take that many cards. But with the official capacity card that came out in terms with the justice card, yeah, more legal issues or like official issue type things, you know, mediation, um, agreements, contracts, official decisions that need to be made on behalf of someone else or on your behalf uh for those that don't resonate with that so that's just a warning because that's coming for you at the end of the year so do what you got to do if you feel that that's probably your mom not telling the rest of the family that that is her wishes make those wishes known in advance so nobody accuses you of shit you know what i mean that type of stuff if you have a girlfriend or a baby mama and you know your mom's the one that's going to make those official decisions. Make sure that your baby mama, your other friends, family members know, listen, no matter what happens from here on out, my mom's got to say, I don't give a shit what baby mama or a girlfriend or whoever tries to say. Okay? So that your wishes are respected and honored. Let me have a card for the justice card if that did not resonate with my Taurus friends. Okay. So... Those uh, official papers, capacity may change if you choose to get married. <laughs> it can also have to do with making things official within a relationship or partnership. One more. Justice and the lover's card. One more. Some of you may actually take a journey, may um, travel towards somebody you got love for, uh, you know, someone that's been in your peripheral where you're just like, you know, it's time I make things right between the two of us. Whether that is uh, love, romantic, taking it to the next level, or maybe it's to clear the air. Maybe it's to reconcile a friendship. Okay, somebody just tugged at my left arm and said, tell them, tell them tell them they need to do this they need to reconcile Ooh. I just felt a very warm healing energy so I have to tell you whether it's Taurus or the Taurus cross watcher this is very important uh, a very important journey that I feel will help your soul growth and progress and I know it sounds crazy because we're talking about the end of 2021 and you're like, why are you already tapping into 2022? But this affects you greatly. And again, if you can get ahead of it and try to take care of this early on, it would do wonders of change here. However, Spirit just told me to tell you that don't think that if you take care of this early on in the year that you're going to have your happily ever after sooner. Sometimes... These are karmic lessons that no matter what, you still need to learn that you may not have learned just yet. So sometimes it feels as though you do a lot of work to try to make somebody happy and they're still never happy. There's a lesson in that. You're going to continue that cycle until you learn that lesson. So yes, this is another lesson over here that's going to help you with your soul growth and spiritual growth. And if you get ahead of it and take care of it early on in the year, this is not as heartbreaking, as not as depressing, as not as heavy, as not as harsh as a tower moment. You may still have that lesson that needs to be learned, but it does become easier for you. And there you go, courthouse again. So making things official on an official capacity. I also heard someone uh, signing over property or businesses. I feel... Okay, somebody has to travel to take care of some legal stuff. Signing papers over for a property, a divorce, a separation, child support. There's some legal papers, contracts that need to be signed. Maybe meet somebody uh, like an attorney or a group of... <sighs> excuse me. A group of people here. They do need to travel to take care of this. Um, 
And I feel that while they're there on this official capacity, they meet up with someone from the past, an old lover, an old flame. They reconnect momentarily, but it is part of your both of your soul growth journey. Just be careful that you are not left in despair or that you're not making decisions out of that type of energy. I can keep going, Taurus, but this is getting, you know, pretty heavy and deep here. Okay, one more card here. Let's get rid of that despair. What can we bring about? Yeah. So listen, going after somebody, the main female, that may be you. You may be the main female. Somebody's coming towards you. You may be the main female that is expecting someone to come towards you or vice versa. But, you know, I love that Ten of Cups right in the middle of it. I mean, look at all this clarification I did. And that beautiful Ten of Cups is still there right in the middle. Beautiful and bright. How can Taurus keep this Ten of Cups fulfilled? Look at that. Beautiful. Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Beautiful. Queen of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy, but it can also be your energy or you have Virgo in your chart. Or this is someone that you are dealing with that has Virgo in your chart. But this is someone that you view with love, nurture, care. You want to take care of them or they want to take care of you is what I get. And... They are coming in swiftly, or that is you. Yeah, you want to work things out. Three of Pentacles. What can I do to make this work? To maintain the Ten of Cups? I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to F this up is what I'm hearing. So, yeah. So, th there's some, you know, competition. There's some fighting. But at the end of the day, the Two of Cups will prevail to get you to that Ten of Cups energy. So, definitely something to keep in mind going through all this craziness in a partnership in a relationship in um a business partnership maybe there's a lot of uh, heavy and burdensome energy that you feel that you don't have time for a love relationship but make time to love yourself so that you can welcome love in okay taurus so even if you think you don't have time to reconnect with someone or I just heard someone here feels like they're not deserving of love. Come on, Taurus. Snap out of it. Don't let other people's, you know, negative energy take take hold of you. Okay. So, three cards flew out. I am going to show them to you. Wedding, let go of control issues, and religious factors. So, some of you may not be on the same page with other people. Uh, especially if you're on the same, if you're in a marriage, a partnership, relationship, there is a need to let go of control issues, or there's a need to let go of someone's controlling grasp over you. Okay, so beginning of 2021 for Taurus, Romance Angels, what message do you have? Beginning of 2021 for the love life. It's time to have some heart to heart conversations with someone here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I mean, look at that. Somebody wants to work things out. The angels are trying to soften up, you know, the situation to help you be more open to listening, to be uh, strong enough to communicate, to have the courage to speak your mind and speak your truth without any repercussions, right? How about the middle part of 2021 for Taurus? Again, what did I tell you? I believe... Capricorns also had to do with children as well, a focus with children. Your love life is being affected by children. Could be custody. Could be paternity. Could be difficulties on uh, blending a family or trying to adopt is what I just heard. That could be what the court papers is, trying to adopt and you're afraid it's not going to happen for you, I, I think it will. There's just going to be a little bit of difficulty, especially if you're fostering. Somebody makes your life difficult in that sense. I hate to say that, but just, you know, be aware of it. That's why I show you what your blocks are so you can get ahead of it. End of 2021. Too many, but that keep an open mind, chemistry, playfulness, all of those came out. Let me have one. To end out 2021 in Taurus's love life. Love energy, this one. Uh-huh. 
new love, resurgence of love, uh, whatever it may be, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Again, if you feel like you're unworthy, you don't deserve love, you've been through too much, who would want you know to be with you after everything that you've gone through? You don't know if you have the energy. Stop being so pessimistic. Let's cover that despair card because I feel like some of you feel like you're very much in that energy of despair, thinking that you know you're not deserving or you're not worthy or it's just not going to happen for you. Okay, cut it out. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Cut it out. <laughs> I heard someone say, oh, okay, let me just cut it out. Like trying to be a smart ass with me. That's okay. <laughs> I'm the same way. So let's see the angel answer oracle card here. I'm going to pick three cards beginning, middle, and end of 2021. If you have like this burning question that you want an answer for, maybe start, you know, thinking about it. Maybe pause the video. Really think about your question and what you want an answer to. This may or may not resonate with you. Pick one of the three cards, whatever it may be. I'm going to pull one just like the Romance Angels beginning, middle, and end of the year. So, Spirit, help Taurus get clarity. What is the energy for beginning of 2021 for Taurus, please? The answer is unlikely. I feel that there's still a lot of healing there that needs to take place. You are getting some information or downloads from uh, spirit. There's a lot that you are channeling. Pay attention to your dreams. I need another card for that one, spirit. Please give me another card for the unlikely. What exactly is it unlikely to manifest, to happen for Taurus at the beginning of the year? Tell me, expand on the unlikely card, please. Because it could be a variety of things. It doesn't have to be love. It could be business. Okay, so an opportunity that you've been waiting for to manifest, money coming in. The outcome is unlikely to happen the way you had anticipated. I think that you still get that opportunity maybe it's just not paying out as much as you had hoped okay or this could be like um this person is expecting all this money from you because i have to you know someone's expecting a big payout from you yeah it's unlikely that they get everything that they want or that you get everything that you want so you know keep a watchful eye on that let's get a card for taurus at the beginning i'm sorry at the middle of 2021 the middle Taurus, okay. Don't stop whatever work you've been doing towards healing, uh, towards, you know, a new beginning. Uh, this work, this time, this effort with a partner, with children, uh, manifesting or, you know, coming into that uh, idea of what you truly want for yourself and your family, right? Okay, so whatever work you've been doing, I feel that someone here is going to be like, I've done all this work and it's not paying out. Spirit is saying, zip it. Stop being pessimistic. Keep moving forward. Don't stop. Don't expect overnight success or overnight results. You know, Rome wasn't built in a year. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling spirits like uh, frustration. They're trying to communicate with you. You're not really listening and you're very pessimistic and kind of like have this... Um, shadow work that still need to get through okay let's leave that there uh end of 2021 seriously beautiful right taurus romance new love might i add the lover's card also came in so you have the card of romance the card of new love, right? Beautiful. And the lovers. You end 2021 on a beautiful high note. I think that you finally see the possibility of being able to welcome romance and love into your life. I just have to remind you not to be so closed off with this four of pentacles energy. I understand that you're trying to, you know, keep your options uh, closed off from those energy vampires or those people that just are sucking you dry financially. Yes, set up those boundaries. Just be careful not to shut everyone out. Not everyone is out to get you. Not everyone is out to hurt you. And not everyone is after your wallet. Okay, honey? Hello. 
Anyway, I just had to say that. Oh, what I forgot to do was the energy oracle. I'm going to pull three more. Sorry if this is a little long. Uh, beginning, middle, and end of 2021. Tell me what the energy is. Beginning of 2021 for Taurus, please. The energy. Beginning of 2021 for Taurus. Yep, you're walking away, walking away. You're waiting for an opportunity to walk away. It is unlikely for the opportunity to come in to give you an out. I think that you need to make your own way out is what I'm hearing, okay? So walk away from what doesn't serve you. That card is 27, number nine, which means you're at the finish line. You're already at the gate. What the hell are you waiting for? It's not like the gate is locked. Push those doors open. In fact, kick those doors open. Keep walking. <laughs> middle of 2021 yeah look at that walking away and journey you are transcending you're moving away you're walking away especially towards a partnership a new beginning where you want to go and let's see the energy of the end of 2021 for Taurus. What is the energy for the end of 2021 for Taurus? So that's where that attachment comes in. And I have to tell you, Capricorn had this card come out twice that I just finally took it because Spirit said, no, Capricorn needs this. But apparently so does Taurus. Okay, let me see. There you go. That's a number five card, uncomfortable change. So that part of despair and the attachment. Uh, yes, yeah, someone doesn't want you to move on, move forward with a new love. Um, someone doesn't want you to travel because they're afraid that you're going to meet up with an old love. Um, at the end of the day, you need to honor yourself. If you are in a partnership, honor your partner. <laughs> if this is just someone who's meddling, well, then, you know, put your boundaries up, kick them to the curb, let them know that it's your life. They have no say in it, right? Obviously, I'm not saying start a fight, but, <laughs> you know, with respect, Get some, give some, right? Uh, or give some, get some. It depends on your situation. So let me have one more because I don't want to leave that end of 21, 2021 attachment card. And there you go. Woman holding a coin. Uh, this is kind of like that Queen of Pentacles card that came out here. Woman holding a coin. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can be you. Uh, 42 turns into a six, which definitely means, you know, progress, moving forward, having a more stable footing. Uh, especially if it's, you know, new romance, new love, it is a very stable and secure uh, relationship, connection. Let me have one more because I just feel like it. <laughs> Goddess of the moon. So listen, if you're working with moon energies, trying to manifest these new beginnings, trying to manifest this happily ever after, do it. It is here for you. So Taurus, do me a favor and give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful 2021 i wish you guys all the best stay safe and be on the lookout for your january 2021 reading take care bye